Thank you very much. We have over 300 tuba players in here. Happy holidays. Welcome to the Kennedy Center and the Concert Hall for this evening's Millennium Stage presentation brought to you by Target and the Marriott Foundation. Millennium Stage is our daily free performance series and we're here at 6 p.m. 365 evenings a year to bring you the best in music, theater, dance, and much more. Now if you can't visit us in person, you can watch these performances live online where we broadcast each and every one of them. And we also make our past performances available for viewing in our broadcast archive. So, I don't want to take up any more of your time. In just a second, I'm going to turn it over to your host for the evening, Chris Quaid. But I like to think that this, the holiday season really doesn't begin here at the Kennedy Center until we do the tuba Christmas. So, if you want to hear some tubas, if you want to hear some tubas, let me hear you scream. All right, ladies and gentlemen. Your host, Chris Quaid. Thank you, and a Merry Tuba Christmas. We are so happy to see everyone here. Thank you to celebrate this wonderful season with us. And a special thanks to the Kennedy Center for finally letting us inside the concert hall. We are thrilled and excited to have, as our first time conductor, this is Lieutenant Colonel Don Schofield of the United States Air Force Band. Okay, let's get the show started. Here's what we're gonna do. We're gonna play every carol twice. First time through is for you to listen to this great ensemble. And then we'll play a second time so that you can sing along. We have only one rule, no lip syncing. <laughs> and here's the first carol. This is O Come All Ye Faithful. Now, I noticed that not everyone was singing that last carol. Perhaps it's because you didn't know the words. So we've got the carol for you. All you have to do is remember, ba la 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 This is Deck the Halls.
Did you hear that great last note? Let's play that again, tubas. Let's play the last two measures and listen for that last great note. That's what you came for. <laughs> now, I want you to take a look at the instruments we have here in the back. They're actually a lot closer than they usually are at the Millennium Stage. There are only two musical instruments that are actually named for the men who conceived them. The first is Adolf Sax and the saxophone, and the second are these great big belled instruments in the back, the sousaphone, named for John Philip Sousa, the March King and legendary <laughs> Marine Band conductor. I believe the very first idea actually had Holly on the sousaphone. <laughs> and we're going to hear them play the melody on our next carol. This is God Rest You Merry Gentlemen. Thank you very much. Now you know that many of our most beloved Christmas carols come from countries all around the world. And the next is a beautiful example. This is from France. This is the first Noel.
Did you know that tubas could bow? Now, this is a dangerous maneuver, and it gives a lot of business to the local repair people. But, Colonel, I think we need to take a bow. Tubas, let's see these instruments take a bow. Okay, were you all ready for that one? I don't know that everyone got a picture. Do you want us to do it one more time? Let's have our cameras ready. Tubas, let's take a bow. And now, our next carol is Good King Wenceslas. Thank you. Thank you very much. I have to tell you, being in the concert hall makes your singing that much more enjoyable. We can hear you so much better. Now, how many of you have figured out that the words are not printed in the program? Then you're doing great. How many? I did not imagine that you would know all the words to Good King Wenceslas. Okay, for your next challenge, let's, let's see if you got this one. It came upon a midnight clear. Thank you so much. I want to take just a moment to introduce some special people here tonight. An incredibly vital part of the Tuba Christmas experience is the combination of professionals and amateurs, enthusiasts and students and retired players all playing together in the same ensemble. And it is our tradition to celebrate both the youngest and the most experienced member <laughs> of our ensemble. Now, we have a number of people who uh, are around the age of 10. Uh, I asked them to stand up. I didn't really see them. They're generally the smaller type. Um, 
But if you're under 10, let's, let's have you stand up. I, I did get one name here. Uh, Muriel Wallach is uh, age 10. And anyone else who's age 10? There we have Muriel right there. I can tell you when I was 10, I was not playing concerts. But we also have our most experienced tuba player this evening, and I believe he has now won this award a number of times. Uh, from Milford, Delaware, coming to Washington, D.C. for Tuba Christmas again this year, right here in the front, we have Joe Lear. Joe. Joe, can I tell them how old? Can I tell them how old you are? 91. <laughs> now, one of the other ways we get to fill this stage and these balconies with wonderful tuba players is when groups come. And I want to recognize some of those groups here tonight. Uh, from Winchester, Virginia, combination of Daniel Morgan Middle School and John Hanley High School. 16 students and teachers from Winchester. <laughs> from John Champ High School in Aldi, Virginia, also 16 teachers and students. Where are you guys? We have 21 students here from Potomac Falls and Parkview High School in Loudoun County. <laughs> from around the Manassas area, Fenton Middle School, Marsteller Middle School, 35. <laughs> And from Falkier County, once again, taking the award this year for having the most people, 40 people from Falkier County up here. Where are you guys? <laughs> There's no better way to build a sense of teamwork and accomplishment in a young person than to give them a musical instrument. And you can see it here. and. I think I'm talking to the right audience. You can see it in our schools. So just from my point of view, let's do everything we can to keep music in our public schools. Now, Colonel, let's get it going again with Angels We Have Heard on High.
We are so fortunate here in Washington, D.C. to be the home of some of the greatest concert bands in the world. The bands of the Army, the Navy, the Air Force, and the Marines. And they are home to so many great tuba and euphonium players. And I guess other instruments too, right, Carl? <laughs> we have a lot of them here in our ensemble. Let's give them a round of applause, please, our military people. Now we want to honor those who serve in harm's way and all the first responders by performing the most beautiful Christmas carol. This is Silent Night, and these are for the people who make it possible for us to actually sleep in heavenly peace. Thank you. Now, as we've talked about normally, we are performing this concert out there on the Millennium Stage. However, tonight the Millennium Stage is in here. I want to remind you that this is being broadcast on the web. Not only that, but you can go home and you have access at kennedy-center.org to any of our greatest hits from previous years. If this is not enough, you can spend all night. And while you're on the World Wide Web, please check out tubachristmas.com to find some of our other great celebrations. You already missed the fantastic New York City one, but this weekend you can hit Baltimore on Saturday and go up to Philadelphia and hit Tuba Christmas on Sunday. Or if you want to travel a bit further, you can see Tuba Christmas Honolulu tomorrow. <laughs> and then Tuba Christmas Switzerland on Sunday. And, of course, if you're traveling, you know who we're talking about next. We're talking about We Three Kings.
This is the 42nd year of Tuba Christmas, which began, yes, 42nd year. <laughs> began in 1974 with the first concert, which was in New York City, and was organized by Harvey Phillips. Harvey, who is quite simply the greatest tuba player, conceived of Tuba Christmas as a way to honor his teacher, uh, William Bell, who was the tuba player in the NBC Symphony and the New York Philharmonic. You see, Bill Bell was born on Christmas Day. So Harvey put these concerts together as a way of honoring Bill Bell. Furthermore, the man who arranged the carols that you're listening to, Alec Wilder, great American composer, actually died on Christmas Eve in 1980. So this is a time for us of celebration, but it's also a time to remember Alec and Bill Bell and Harvey Phillips, who left us only five years ago. We also remember this year our dear friend and colleague, Dave Burgunier, who passed away just this past summer. Now, Dave was a member of the U.S. Army Field Band, and he was the former tuba player with the National Symphony. He was instrumental in bringing us here to the Kennedy Center for these Tuba Christmas concerts, and he was also the announcer for this concert until last year when he fell sick. So we want to remember Dave and Harvey and all the great men and women who are no longer with us as we play this next carol, Lo How a Rose, Air Blooming. No need to sing, just sit back and listen. So all of the instruments up here end with a bell. Did you notice? We've already met the sousaphones. We also have tubas and euphoniums. They all end with a bell. So you know what we're going to play next. We're going to play the Carol of the Bells. But before we do, before we do, I want to turn the microphone briefly over to our conductor. Uh, please welcome Colonel Schofield. Thank you. First of all, as I'm up here conducting, I realize that I don't know the words to some of these because I'm always playing these Christmas carols. So I'm up here thinking, you know what, I don't know halfway through this verse uh, because I'm usually playing these carols. Now, for, uh, raise your hand if this is the first time that you've been to a tuba Christmas concert. Wow! I want you all to think of it like a holiday heavy metal show. That was bad, I know. <laughs> this is a really unique opportunity for, for kids especially to be able to play things that they normally wouldn't get to in band. 
as a tuba player, somebody that sat on the back row and was relegated to oomph and pause on a lot of the marches. This is a great way to sit together and play hymns and pieces that are scored for that group, for tubas and euphoniums. And it's a really special thing. The last thing that I ask the students and all the adults here to do today after we ended our rehearsal was to introduce themselves to somebody they did not know that played the same instrument. And that's really what this gathering is about. It's about a brotherhood. It's about a unique kinship that we all share as musicians and especially as tuba and euphonium players. It's a great opportunity to get together and to celebrate not only life, but also the holiday spirit. With that, we're going to play an instrumental song that moves very quickly. And I want to tell you also that we did all this with about 35 minutes of rehearsal. We went through these songs one time. Isn't that great? That's a real testament to the dedication of these young musicians and their teachers and their parents. Make no mistake, I remember my parents taking me to lessons, and thank you for doing the same. All right, like Chris said, we're going to play this. It doesn't have words, so that's good. So enjoy this. This is Carol of the Bells. We've had a short conference up here, and we have identified all of the best singers in the audience. <laughs> and what we're going to do is we're going to bring them up to the front of the stage now to help us sing our next song. These are the children. So we're going to sing Jingle Bells, another one where I hope you know the words, but I need help. I need a, I need a choir. I need it right here. Am I going to get anybody to come help me? So come on. we got to get... That's what I'm talking about. So we're going to gather here on the floor, not on the stage. We don't want children anywhere near the tubas. I want to tell you that there are 288 tuba Christmas concerts going on this season. And this is the one with the best children's choir. Those are the conductors, right? All 
right, we're going to do a conducting lesson because I'm going to have two conducting people up here with me. All right, guys, I'm going to teach you everything that I know about conducting in about 10 seconds. All right, here we go. So put your arm up like this. All right. Go up, go down, go up, go down. Let's do it like this. Okay. Now, the secret to conducting is stop waving your arms when the music stops. <laughs> All you got to know. All right. So what we're going to do is we're going to conduct jingle bells together, and you guys are going to go up and down with me and conduct the band. You ready? All right. Okay, so you guys are it, and we're going to sing right away. There's no opening to this. As soon as the band starts, they're going to give a short introduction, and then we're at Jingle Bells. Colonel, take it away. As I said, that was quite simply the best children's choir at any tuba Christmas concert. Another round of applause, threes, please, for our children. Now, we do have one last piece for you this evening. All good things must come to an end. And this piece has the word joy right in the title. And I think that that is something that I want you to take away from tonight's concert. It seems like we've had a lot of fun. And I want you to take joy away from this concert. We live in a world with some challenges sometimes. We live in a world that can sometimes be a little negative. And I'm of the opinion that the best way to get rid of the weeds is to simply grow more grass. It's true. If you're happier, if you just spread that kind of cheer and that kind of joy, that's what this season is about. That's the best way to cure unhappiness. It's the best way to rid the world of some of our bigger problems. So take this joy that you have here, thank you, and spread it, spread it around. And next, next year, we want to be in the concert hall again, and I don't want to see... I don't want to see any empty seats. 
We want to make it so big they put us in the opera house. And since Joy to the World is so good and so important, we're actually going to play it three times. Once for us and twice for you. Colonel, Joy to the World. Thank you very much. <laughs>